Hold on. Okay, First Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. This is what it says. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, that's talking about homosexuals, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards. Okay, how do you know what let, me, come, let me finish it, please. Nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So, How the, do you know that that's the determination of what a feminine means meant to God? Okay, well, if you don't take that scripture, I'll give you another one. Let's look at Romans chapter 1. This is good. That's good to talk about this. Romans. I just know some cool people and they don't, they're not bad. Well, Romans 1, what? Okay, we're going to look at Romans 1 and verse 26 and 27. Okay. Um, let, actually, let's start up at, uh, we'll start at verse 22. Okay, it says, Romans 1, 22. It says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of un the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and the birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts, lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the crea creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this God, God gave them up to vile affections for even the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, Malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. Can I, can I finish the scripture? Just, dis disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, unmerciful and implacable. I'm not sure how to say that one word. But uh, who knowing the judgment of God, that which they, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So, What up, Roboto? They're saying God, God's the What's up, Roboto? It's not God saying, I oh, say this. Yes. Well, Ro the book of Romans is God speaking. Roboto! He's not leaving. He's speaking in the third person and saying, God, God, God's way it is. God. Well, these are, these are the prophets of God, the apostles that spoke, moved by the Holy yeah, Spirit. Each one of them spoke, uh, like, different, like, you can tell some of them had a lot of anger issues in what they write. And some of them were really peaceful. That's what I see when I've read the minimal amount that I've read. Mm -hmm. But they're written by people, obviously, and different people with different opinions. Because some of them are pretty angry issues. Okay. Well, let's look at this, this scripture then. This is in Deuteronomy. This is another one. Well, if you don't believe the Bible, then I can't help you. That's in, you're in big trouble then. I believe individual interpretation is, is given by it, but I also 